Okay, we're back with Ether One. Um, this is the fifth of the PS Plus games this month for May. So we just had a look at Race of the Sun. Uh, again, this is one I've never heard of before and haven't seen anything about prior to this. Um, just loaded up, so we're going to dive right in and see what it's all about. I'm sorry for the things I said earlier on. It's just... God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I, I, don't, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more. You know I do it, but, but... Jesus, do you know how I view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please, don't go tonight. Freaking scared. For you and for me. Okay. Ah, oh, as per usual. We have to set the look control to be correct. century, advances in genetic and psychological sciences led to a series of astounding breakthroughs regarding the human genome. At the forefront of these experiments, the Ishin Initiative discovered and developed new ways of mapping the human mind, expanding the knowledge of our species. 1942. Whilst the world was at odds with itself, the Ishin Initiative discovered Patient Zero. Hmm. So there are already certain elements of the the game in terms of the posters that were up there that sort of remind me of, uh, of Bioshock. Of course, we're going to write something funny because, well, why not? Keep it in the wrong button. And uh, what time is it? It's okay. It's unnecessarily complicated. Restoration procedure for patient J N two. Zero, five, seven. We'll commence shortly. Staff are advised to prepare chambers for initial projection. Well, it seems you best get to move on. There's plenty to do. And for you, plenty to see and discover. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of restoration this evening. And hopefully ensuring that nothing terrible happens to you or our client. I'm in 
in Restoration Chamber Number 3. Now, if you don't mind, would you be a dear and head on down? Sure. Where is it? And hold an object. Press. The restorer. The touchpad to human evolution. Okay. An asset to society and a wonder of the natural world. Restoration chamber. So one thing to know about this game is it's it's sort of unnecessarily demanding about your precision when it comes to using action items. So you have to have that little bit of kill on the object you want to interact with. You can't just kind of walk up to a door and push it. It's a bit fiddly. Diagnostic report. Would you be and help me with the setup? I need the electrical input for the Rembrandt installation rerouting. You can access it from that terminal over there. Okay. I wonder if they mean a terminal over here. Really? You can carry one item at a time? Really? A silver trophy for that? Right. A few things before we project. Our client Jean is currently in a very delicate state. Our primary focus is to ensure that we clear this area of her mind from the plaque buildup that is. from within, we're going to need to use her own memories to reinforce the memory that she's receiving.
listen up. You are in your case. You're probably going to come back here a lot, so please take some time to get acquainted with your surroundings. It keeps most restorers sanity intact. For a short while, anyway. Our sole purpose this evening is to track the memory and pinpoint its location so we can cleanse it of any disease present. Everything you're seeing in front of you is a visual environment, pieced together from our client's subconscious mind. Barren wastelands or an abstract painting reimagined. It's all completely tangible. All I can see are brain scans of tissue degradation confirming my previous diagnosis of dementia. Both are incredibly important if we are to succeed and understand our client's needs. Now, if you just give me a second, I'll have some more details for you. Feel free to explore in the meantime. that the central focus of this memory is located below you in an old abandoned mine known as Devlin. Entry 95D in our client's memory journal indicates that an accident occurred affecting them in a meaningful way. Okay, mine is here for metal plates, so let's look for a little metal plate then, I guess. Sixteen seventy. The heck is that going to be? Okay. So, let's find the safe. Oh, I can jump. Just not over anything.
closure notice for the mine. Been here already. Show me what's down there. Gas mask is probably going to come in handy. Yeah, I've no fucking clue what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, let's try going as far down as we can. of interest. You're telling me I've got a target individual rollers. Okay. okay, so I've been digging a little deeper into our client's personal history, and I found details of a strong emotional response to someone who once worked within the mine. An entry hmm. that discusses the mine. So that's the reflection of the sun coming through the wall. Because why not? So, please ensure all valves are in the correct position before lever activation. Okay. So, my assumption is that there will be some handy piece of documentation left around somewhere that will tell us the position they need to be in. So fucking weird. It doesn't stop the sun. Oh, okay, here we go. So it is left, right, left, left, right.
пошел. Sights and smells can help store memories forever. Hmm. Projector. I'm not sure how they got here, but I think they relate to our patient's history. Don't worry. You won't need these to progress this evening as they're an optional task. But we should at least give this one a try. I'll store important notes like this downstairs in the case for you. They'll be there whenever you want to have a look at them. The things we touch throughout our life can stay with us in the back of our minds. Alright, we need to fill out the ventilation pipes. Whoa. Don't want to put your finger in there. if you put some dangerous chemicals in there. Although both keys are fragmented, they hold the key to remembering the way we were. Oh, I hope that wasn't important. <laughs> so do I. Okay, uh, another note. Okay. Okay. A spray of perfume and it all comes flooding back. this way a bit. Hmm. Spooky. Do 
do with the uh, manual. Can you read it? Nope. I can't remember what I'm going to do with the manual. Yeah, let's have a look down here. Did I come in this way? Yes, I did. I remember the canary cage. ventilation pipes otherwise we'll suffocate so that was the glass bottle the air compressor keeps breaking and we have no manual to fix it well now I have a manual but I don't know where the air compressor is I'd like to say two parts Complete. Huh. Oh, I remember it said we needed to put it on the desk.
pretty fucking weird. stars are passing me by, burning so bright and so fast as if they never truly existed at all. They're so beautiful, so fragile. I want to hold on to them. I want to hold on and never let them go. Why can't I hold on anymore? Please. Well, that went pretty batshit pretty quick. Restorer? Can you hear me? Ah, oh, there you are. I'm sorry. What you've just experienced was a relapse of our patient's condition. Hopefully you didn't cause too much damage whilst inside. Now, the objective as stated is to locate Jean's artifact. At this present moment in time, we don't know what this item is. We need to gather information from important memories our client can still understand. Their core memories. Okay. Yeah, that's a good swap. Oh, more reading. The mind can be like a blank canvas, or a picture can be left incomplete for a generation, only to be finished years later in life. The blacksmith was a vital part of the British town for a very long time, but with industries growing and taking over, they had to find other ways to survive and remain in trade. This particular smith became well known for his sculpting and other decorative metal work, but apparently he became a recluse after the industrial decline destroyed all of his work.
An artist's tools are kept sharp. Any memory can be etched in stone. Fire's on. Sorry, the forge is on. So what the f do we do now? Yeah, I'm just gonna carry that around with me now. So if there's a lathe, presumably we are trying to get that going. Not really. Repair cable. down and I better go and find out what the hell's on the end of it. Oh the labor's on the end of it. Into our lives. That was pretty fucking weird. to read that note. So presumably somewhere there's a handle that deals with that problem. Alright, only two up this time. Cool. Andrew was the oldest brother, and the most mischievous by far. Rob usually did whatever he was told, and Harry was too young to argue back. Did you ever hear the story of the knocker? Andrew asked in a sinister tone. The knocker? His brothers replied, looking at Andrew skeptically. Yes, it lives in the mine past the dock. Legend has it that an old man went into the mine once, looking for his dog. And some strange crystal in there changed him. Changed him into what? Rob inquired, already far too interested for his own good. Andrews. You found one. A memory fragment. Good work. A ribbon. This 
must be Jean's representation of them within her mind. That was pretty bonkers. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, this is a pretty weird little game. There's another one here. Oh, I don't like that noise. I must That's say, creepy. I am impressed, Restora. You've done such wonderful work this evening. Just between you and I, there's a lot riding on this restoration. It's our last week of funding, and, well, I haven't got any usable results. You're my last hope. And it's very important that I... Sorry, we succeed. You're my only hope. Oh yeah, that's creepy noise. I don't like that. You know, I am sorry about before. The relapse and all. Just remember, it's incredibly important that we trust each other. Don't worry too much about her brain. I'll be monitoring it on my end to ensure that no severe damage is caused during your visit. 0427. The tone, the rhythm, just listening to that melody would never get old. Can I actually use those? Oh, bollocks, I don't want to do that. Oh, see. Um, So, this is obviously a sort of first person adventure game type thing. Um, and I guess, I guess to its credit, it's not kind of, um, it's not handing you things on a plate, it's making you look around and kind of dig for the story, uh, which is fine. It's great, in fact, that's completely admirable. Oh dear, that needs repairing. Um, I just, I wish it kind of gave you a little more structure almost. Um, a little bit more of a push in the right direction. Um, having said that, it depends how the story pans out as to whether it actually kind of equates to a good game or not. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm, I'm not crazy about the whole... Uh, there's another ribbon around here, I can hear it. Yeah, I'm not, not cr crazy about the whole... Um... Did I ever tell you about an odd colleague of mine who experimented with brain cell transplants? Taking them from one memory and surgically implanting them into another. An attempt to reconfigure their minds, he said. Fascinating stuff, really. Imagine what we could do with that level of scientific freedom. A crow with an injured wing, just lying there on the beach. I imagine this was almost a second home to most of the fishermen who lived here. There was a strong reading when you walked in. There's a story to be told here. I think you better keep looking. Alright, so the uh, <coughs> safe combination is 1513 and my guess is it will be missing a tumbler. Um, where the hell the safe is? Uh, another ribbon. There it is. Another one. You're really doing a very good job, Restorer. Although I should mention, the board are going to be monitoring our progress tonight. So failure to retrieve the artifact is simply not an option. Listened in the shop window. 
a music box with the most beautiful decoration. A great man once worked here. Part philosopher, part engineer. His radical new ideas changed the course of history forever. Let's find out what this has to do with anything. Oh, it's just the hull again. No idea what that does, but here we go. It is what it is. So, um, I need to find it safe. Uh, I'm going to give it a few minutes, and if I can't find it, then I will probably quit this game and come back to it at another date. Because uh, at the moment, well, it's starting to get a bit late, and it's a very slow methodical game, I don't really want to kind of give it short shrift. So how the fuck do you get up to that mezzanine up there? Hmm. I'm guessing also I need to be a bit more um, systematic about how I break down these spaces and search each kind of area. At the moment I'm just sort of wandering around, which means that everything's going to take ten times longer. Oh, this fucking living. Please remain focused in there, Restorer. I can't stress to you how much I'm relying on you to succeed. I've been let down far too many times for four, and I won't stand for it again. What? Yes, I asked you half an hour ago. No, I want you to inject it now. I don't care. They have clearly stated the procedure's intention, so do as I ask. <sighs> Sorry about that. I need to go and sort out an incompetent individual, as per usual. I'll be back shortly. Right, well, she's a bitch. Um, I think this is the only building in the area that I haven't really looked at yet, so I'll have a quick look around here. And it's definitely not going to be as safe an area as the abort. Uh, there's another one of those there. Pressure then. So there's actually a path that leads around the back of this building. I want the Jesse. Let's follow it. There's the uh, ribbon. Yep, confirmed. She's a bitch. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I've just got to remember when I come back that the safe combination is 1516. Uh, anything under here of interest? No. Alright, yeah, that's me for the evening. Thank you so much for joining. I will... Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow night now, actually. So we've gone through the five PlayStation Plus games for me. We had... Guacamole, Unfinished Swan, uh, <laughs> they escaped me now, typical, I'm way too tired for this, uh, Ether One, that's this one, 
uh, Race the Sun, which we played earlier, which is actually pretty awesome. How pretty come good. you're not leaving footprints in the snow? Because it's sand, you crescent. Um, and, oh, what was the fifth one? Ah, oh, that's really annoying. It's going to bug me, yeah? I'm going to have to check the menu, but I can't just leave that. That will do my head in. Ho, ho, come. There you go. Yeah, Ho Hokum, another completely bonkers game. Um, that one, I think, I don't know, there's an outside chance I might introduce my three-year-old to video games through something like Ho Hokum. Um, something where there's not kind of a huge amount of dexterity required. You can literally just get away with, you know, twiddling joysticks. Um, I figure it's going to be something like that, or perhaps Flower. Um, which is available on PS4, I believe. Anyway. Um, let's just see what's in this house. If I'm lucky, there'll be a safe in here. Oh no, there's that busted safe that I put a statue in. Because I've been here already. What about down here? Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Okay, cool. So thanks for joining. I will catch up with you uh, tomorrow. Not sure what we're going to play tomorrow. Just Ten yet. people. Oh, hello. A small new wedding. Room. But moving country means making a new life and new friends. Every town has its own May Day celebration. But many people travelled from around the British Isles for the annual Pinwheel Maypole Morris Dancing Competition. That's so weird that Such they do stuff like that. Tradition, and a rare thing these days. Where is the fucking safe? One hat, two bells, one stick. Please don't let me go out and find hats and bells and stick. Just want to find the safe. Mm, can you smell that? Someone's baking. There's definitely no safe here, so I'm going to call it quits, am I? Oh, there's just so much to read. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to call it quits there. I will catch you guys tomorrow um, for, I don't know, depends how the mood takes me. Maybe a bit of Warframe. I need to get some Destiny stuff done for this week, uh, so I will catch you then.